I came to develop Jam because I believe in the potential of changing the world. My name is Daniel. I'm originally from Brazil, but uh, right now I moved to Lisbon. I am a software developer, working with software since I was a kid. I'm passionate about technologies. So I, I was born in 1979, so today I'm 45. So I've been working with tech for quite a long time. Even before the internet, I learned to program in uh, Apple II computer with basic programming language. And I feel myself as a person that was always ahead of time. Because everything I lived in my life, in terms of what I loved, was something that a few years later become a reality. I was working for a FinTech 2020. Didn't know anything about blockchain besides like knowing Bitcoin briefly. I fell in love with the concept of like decentralization, power in the hands of the people, resilience, remove the power from a centralized entity. And I was working for a fintech, very traditional banking system. And I started to realize, look, this is, this, this is the world that I want to work. I wanted to bring this technology, this blockchain stuff to the company, but I didn't just didn't have traction inside. I had a team of 80 engineers working for me, but doing stuff that I didn't want to do. I wanted to do something else. So I quit the CTO job, found myself in a position that I didn't know too much about blockchain, but I was sure that I wanted to do something with that. I created a community of developers in Brazil called Web3Dev. And this community grew to like more than 10,000 members in just one year. And I, I said to myself, wow, this is awesome. But there are so many knowledges, to, so many things to get deep into. I wanted to be a developer, not just like a community leader. I created the community just for fun, but in the end, the community became a thing. And I, I saw myself like just learning basic stuff and not understanding the deep levels, things that I knew I could and I wanted to, to build something different. I went to PBA the Polkadot Blockchain Academy in January this year. I've, I learned more about Polkadot. And not only that, I saw in Polkadot a place for a person like me. When I moved to, to Lisbon, I decided to go all in into the Polkadot. And what, el what could I do in Polkadot? And then the, there came the, the, the gem prize. The, an opportunity to work on something really breakthrough, really exciting with top-minded people. And for me, it was like obvious decision. And I've been working on Jam for like say three months. And when I started, it is really interesting because I was really in doubt that if I could make it. Because when you start reading the gray paper, when you start reading what is Jam, you don't understand anything. So it's very complicated. It looks very complicated from the outside. But once you just put a step on it and start to give small steps, it's just like when you see the ocean and you see, oh, it's too big. I just can't swim here. I just can't because it's too big, it's too complicated, it's too dangerous. But once you get in there and you feel the water coming and you feel that you can control yourself and you can navigate there, you can swim there and here safely, you can go further. So this is what I did. I just started. I just started to write the first line of code with the simple formula, one of the 300 formulas that I had in the gray paper that I didn't understand everything, but I understood just one. And this one I could like write the code for it. And I say, oh, okay, I can do this. And because I can do this, I can give the next step. So learning Jam is a journey. And implementing Jam is a journey of learning, challenging yourself into something that seems to be complicated. But once you start, you know, it's, it's natural. When you see the potential that Jam has to impact people's lives, this is what moves me. I, I didn't come to develop Jam for the prize or for the 
economical gains of the DOT token. I came to develop Jam because I believe in the potential of changing the world, making Web3 a real thing, not a partial real thing, because there's still a lot of things that does, don't work well in Web3. We know that. The technology is evolving, and Jam is just the catch-up of everything that was done before. Everything, the, the last breakthrough technologies that were created, the papers that were written in, in the academy, in cryptography community, so everything put together into a single piece of uh, software. So this will change things because if you have a software that is capable of running any kind of soft, any kind of computer program, because blockchains today are limited, they, they, they can't do everything. The initial vision of Ethereum was to run a global computer that runs code, but it's not that. But Gem is. What comes next? I will be here to build it. I'm fully dedicated and I'm fully confident that once this starts to be implemented and used by users and people creating applications on top of it, these applications will enable things that are not possible today in the world and it will be in a couple of years. You know, it's, it's really challenging to talk with uh, inside the crypto space because there is a lot of competition and jealousy between like different niches. Sometimes people uh, label you just by the name that you or the, the kind of logo that you wear. So if you wear a Spokadot and oh, Polkadot is against Ethereum and Ethereum is against Cardano and Cardano is against Solana. I think people uh, don't realize that we are in the same boat fighting for the same battle. We are on the same side. It's like, let's build Web3, let's build great systems, let's build something that people need, that people want, and that will make our lives better. We can work together on a lot of things because Jam is just a base layer. There's a lot of things on top of it. And of course, if we don't have these things on top of it, it won't serve for anything. So it's just, Jam is a machine. It's not the software. So if you have a machine and you don't have the software running on top of it, it you, don't have, you have nothing. When Steve Jobs, they created Apple and they have the Apple II, of course you have the hardware, but the hardware is nothing. If you have just a hardware, it's just a piece of metal. Doesn't, doesn't mean anything, but if you can, create something, and this is the, the power of the computer, the machine that can run arbitrary code. And then you have developers that have the ideas and the potential to create this code. Anything can be run on top of it. So I would say Jam is the most powerful machine created up to now. And if we deliver it in a good way and people understand how to build on top of it, it will be amazing. So this kind of th stuff that AI is creating things that seems to be real, but they are not real, or seems to be human created, but are not human created, are the things that blockchain can solve. So blockchain and security and ways to prove using cryptography, some aspects of a data uh, would be very important in the AI world where you have both technologies growing together and helping each other to not only do s smart things, but also in a safe way that people can like trust and, and, and be happy and not be uh, attacked by the technology.